you can draw this in Procreate. Now, there won't be a lot of drawing in this tutorial actually, but we will be doing some 3D painting. And I sure hope you'll like it because I have put a lot of work and effort into this tutorial because I have actually created this 3D gingerbread man myself. And he is my first 3D creation. So I put a lot of blood, sweat and tears and baked it into a cookie. You can download it for free through the link in the description. I know he's not perfect, but I hope you can appreciate the effort. Please don't go and ask me to do 3D tutorials because I am a total newbie. But perhaps, who knows, in the future. In any case, this 3D painting tutorial will be very easy. I will guide you through the steps and show you how 3D painting in Procreate 5.2 works. But if you're still feeling a little bit insecure, then check these results from my previous tutorials. They might give you some confidence. Or check these awesome results from my friends at Patreon. There you can find even more Procreate tutorials. Now what you need for this tutorial is the file that you can download through the description and once you import it into Procreate, it looks kind of creepy. This gingerbread man looks like he is possessed, so we are going to fix that. I have given this gingerbread man a lot of different features so you can make your gingerbread entirely your own. So that way we can overflow social media with lots of different gingerbread men. So to fix this evil version of the gingerbread man, you'll have to open the layer menu and you'll see lots of weird names. But that's because I just don't know how to fix that. Same goes for the gingerbread man showing all the features. It just shows that I don't know exactly what I'm doing when it comes to 3D sculpting. So all these features are pretty much scrambled through these layers, but you can turn them on and off. I'll turn this one off. Here you can see that this is eyes one. This is the scarf. I'm going to turn that off as well. Here we have eyebrows one, belly wiggle, arm lines. I'll turn those off. I'll leave the bow tie. I'll leave the leg stripes. I'll turn off the evil eyebrows. Here he already looks a lot happier. I'll turn off the belly button or well the button four. I'll remove the wiggly mouth. Button three and I'll remove this mouth. Now he looks a lot better. Now let's go ahead and color our gingerbread man. Of course, you can pick whatever features you like and create your own version. Do keep in mind that to be able to 3D paint in Procreate, unfortunately, you do need a pen. So you can't paint with your fingers. Now let's go and paint our gingerbread man. I'll be going all the way to the bottom to the body of our gingerbread man and we are going to fill it with color. We'll use this first color in the color palette. You can download the color palette through the link in the description, but of course you can also pick your own colors because with this gingerbread man, you have entire creative freedom. But I found that this color is a nice one for a cookie. Now we are going to add some texture to the cookie so that it looks more like cookie. I have created a new brush, which I have added to the treasure chest, to the treasure chest brush pack. And it's the, the cookie brush. I thought that was suitable. Now for the color, we are going to use the second color in the first row. The brush opacity is at 100% and the size is at 64%. And now we are just going to go over the cookie to add some nice cookie texture. And we also need to rotate our cookie and make sure that we recolor the sides. For example, here we need to go over the edges Rotate it with your finger and make sure that you cover every part of your gingerbread man. Otherwise, it'll look a little bit weird. And we need to color his back. We'll just turn him upside down. He doesn't mind. All right, now we have cookie texture all over. Now let's go and color his mouth, for example. Let's find his mouth. I have used mouth two. And we are going to use this red color. It's the first color in the second row and you can just drag and drop it onto the mouth. Now icing looks a little bit shiny. So we want to add some shine to the mouth and we are going to do that by going to the layer and then opening it by clicking that little 
It's like a box. Then we'll go to roughness, click that. And right now it's all white, which means it's totally rough. But we want less roughness, so it becomes a little bit shiny. So we need to paint on this with black. So let's grab pure black. We have it over here, the first color in the third row. And now let's just go and grab the soft brush under airbrushing. I have the opacity set to 60% and the size is at 15%, but the size doesn't really matter. We just want to cover the entire mouth. And now when you look at it, it's slightly, slightly glossy. If you go over another time, it'll become even more glossy. So you can go for the amount of gloss that you like. I think this ginger man is quite happy with his glossy lips. Now let's move to the eyebrows. Let's find them first. Where are they? Here they are, eyebrows one. We're going to fill them with black. So pick the first color in the third row and drag it on top of the eyebrows. And we need to add some gloss there as well. So we need to open it, click that little box here, then go to roughness. Then we'll still be using the soft brush and with black, go over the eyebrows. Now for the eyes, I want to keep them white. So let's just go to the layer with the eyes, eyes number three, open it by clicking the box, then go to roughness and paint over it with black. And there when you look at it, you can see that it's more shiny, more glossy. Then onto the bow tie. Let's go to the bow tie. Where is it? There it is. Bow tie. Let's first color it. We are going to use the green. That's the second color in the second row. And just drag it onto the shape to fill it. Then we are going to make it shiny by clicking the little box. Then go to roughness. And then go over to make it more shiny. Now for the buttons, let's go and find them. We have button number one. Let's fill it with red. That's the first color in the second row. Drag it on top of it. Then go to the next one here at the top. Button number two. Fill it with red. And I want to keep these wiggles. I want to keep them white. And let's make these. Let's make these green. Where are they? Where's the layer? Here we have it, leg stripes. Let's fill it with the green. That's the second color in the second row. Now we just need to make it shiny. So let's open it up, go to roughness and with black, go over these stripes to make it shiny. Then we'll go to the wiggles we have. Where do we have the wiggles? Here we have the belly wiggle. Open it by clicking that box, then go to roughness and then go over the belly wiggle to give it some shine. Then we'll go to the arms, wiggles, where are they? There they are, the arm wiggles. Go to roughness. Then with black, go over and then once you have made those wiggles, once you have made those uh, more shiny, we are going to move back to the buttons on its belly. I don't want these to be shiny, I want them to be a bit like sugary, sparkly. So let's go back to those, let's go to the first one, here we have Button number one. And we are going to paint on it with a glittery brush. It's part of the treasure chest brush pack. We'll use the confetti glitter and we will use this color. It's the third color in the second row. Just go over it and add a little bit of sparkly texture. We'll do the same for the next one. If we can find it. There, button number two. Add some texture. Now once you have colored your entire cookie and you're happy and you know it, then we are going to change the environment a little. 
we're just going to play around. All you have to do is go to the wrench here at the top, then go to 3D, and then go to Edit Lighting and Environment. Now you'll see your cookie in its environment. You can go to Environment, and I'm going to pick Auditorium. It just feels nice and warm. It really gives me those holiday vibes. And of course, you can also play around with the lighting. You can move these lights. You can make them more pinkish, for example, up to saturation or intensity. And you can see that it's changing the way the light is hitting our, well, our gingerbread man. Let's make this a bit reddish. And then when you click done, you can see that the lighting has changed for our little man. Now, if you want to go and share your gingerbread man on social media, the first thing you need to do is go and hit that subscribe button, of course, if you haven't already. Then you need to go to the wrench, then to share, and then you can pick any of these. You can go for animated MP4, for example. And here you can change a lot of things. You can change, well, the resolution, you can turn it into a square. You can make it rotate or make it swing. You can change the animation duration. If you turn it up, your animation will be slower. And you can change the zoom distance here. It'll be very far away, but you can also make it lower. And then it's just moving around like this saying, hello, hello everyone. And you can change the ease. Like this is making it look more like I'm a robot ginger man. And this is just way more smooth. And then you can just hit export and share your gingerbread man with the world. Just don't forget to tag me, of course. Because that way I will be able to find your gingerbread man and perhaps we'll see it in the next video. But of course you can also share your gingerbread man as an image, of course, by exporting it as a JPEG. I'm looking forward to seeing your gingerbread man. I hope you have enjoyed following this tutorial. Let me know if you did. The best way to let me know is by leaving a comment, of course, or hitting that thumbs up. And then I'll see you next time for the next You Can Draw This video tutorial. Thank you for watching.